Hello friends, welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we are going to look into real numbers chapter 1 and let us focus on example 5. Let's see what is there in example 5. The question is like consider the numbers 4 to the power n where n is a natural number. Check whether there is any value of n for which 4 to the power n ends with 0. That means we need to find that 4 to the power n that means whatever the number of n is the answer should have a 0 at the units place. So we need to see whether we are really getting a 0 in the units place when we have 4 to the power n. Now let's see let's move ahead and solve this question. So we are given a number in the form 4 to the power n and n is a natural number. Guys, I believe by this time you would have known what is a natural number. But still, let me brush up the mind. As n is a natural number, its values lies between 1 to infinity. We very well know that a natural number is a number which starts from 1 till infinity, but it does not include 0 and negative numbers. Now, let us move ahead, keeping in view with the concept of natural number. So, if 4 to the power n ends with 0, then it must have prime factors of 2 and 5. Without 2 and 5, a number cannot have 0 in the units place. So, like uh, if we require a, uh, require a 0 in the units place, that means that particular number should have prime factors of 2 and 5. Let's see how, how it happens. The uh, ever first statement uh, let us check the factorials of these numbers having 0 in the units place. Uh, that means I am going to or uh, we are going to check uh, some numbers where there are 0 and see what exactly we are getting. And let us uh, check 10, 20, 100 like this but we will not check everything just uh, 2 to 3 numbers we will take and see how exactly it looks. Now coming to 10 we could see that the factorials of 10 are 2 into 5. 2 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number. Moving ahead, like 20. 20 is equal to 2 into 2 into 5. So again, 2 is a prime number and 5 is a prime number. Similarly, if we uh, factorize 100, we are also getting 2 into 2 into 5 into 5. So here 2 as and 5, they both are prime numbers. From the uh, calculations, it is quite evident that if we need 0, or if there is a 0 at the end of any number, then definitely there must be prime factors of 2 and 5. Without the prime factors of 2 and 5, we cannot get a number with 0 in the units place, like 10, 100, 1000, so on. So let's name this as our first reference, first inference. Now, let us check 4 to the power n uh, with uh, n having some natural numbers. And let's see what we are exactly getting. So we are just going to check few numbers like 2, 5, 10, uh, etc. and see where uh, our ca calculation moves. Now 4 to the power n. Uh, when n is equal to 2, so 4 to the power 2. That is equal to 4 into 4. And we can uh, write or factorize further uh, with the prime number saying that 2 into 2 into 2, which is nothing but 16. Now uh, let's take 4 to the power n where n is equal to 5. When n is equal to 5, uh, you could see that we are getting uh, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 uh, like this uh, 10, time, uh, 10 times. So, sim and similarly, if we move ahead and we could see 4 to the power 10, so like this 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 and at the end we will get some result like 1048576. We are least bothered about the result but yeah definitely if you look into the result we are not getting a 0 in the units place. And if you look into the ever factors just we are getting the prime factor of 2 only. 5 is not there. You could see 5, uh, five is not at all present in any of the ever factors. Uh, guys you can test any number any natural number. Uh, here uh, keeping in view of 4 to the power n and you could definitely see that we will never get 5. So uh, as we are not having 5 only having 2 uh, so we could see that um, 
it definitely it will not have a zero let us uh, name it as a second reference hence from the above two reference we could easily conclude that uh, if there is a digit with 4 to the power n having uh, it is not possible to have zero in the nth place guys i believe you uh, understood this calculation if still you have any concerns or question kindly reach out to me in the comment section of this video definitely i will get back to you thank you if you really like my video kindly subscribe and let your friends know bye